Kasperova had many talents, we know. Concert pianist, composer, piano teacher. I've mentioned that she wrote her memoirs and a very informative and objective description of Rubinstein's teaching. But she was also a poet. And the Songs of Love, 12 Romances, are settings of her own love poetry. And the interesting aspect of this is that she performed these love songs herself. She had a beautiful soprano voice on Tuesday evenings, uh, as was the tradition in St. Petersburg to have musical soirees at, at regular intervals. On these occasions, she performed her songs of love, accompanying herself at the piano. The piano parts of the Songs of Love are quite transparent for that very, very reason. She had quite enough going on singing the songs, um, so she wanted clarity in the piano parts. She could cope with everything, because her piano parts normally are very busy, as we know. Yes, she had a, a great feeling uh, as a composer for writing vocal music. a time at a summer school when Kasperva opened up to her fellow students about the love of her life and illustrated her story with songs appropriate to her narrative. Could this have been the songs of love? We observe this wonderful yet unfamiliar world full of intensely singular experiences. In the twilight, the sea has become quite still. Only Lola's eyes are gleaming. Over the water, her voice carries high, sweet and emotive. Well, it's always really exciting when we unearth masterpieces. She has a, there's a sort of lyricism in her writing, which is very attractive every song is really unique and that because she was obviously such a formidable pianist we really feel that flexibility in the piano part and there's a sort of virtuosity and it feels like the songs are really written um, as chamber music you know so the vocal part and the piano part a lot like Schumann actually you know there's a lot of sort of interweaving of the vocal line and the piano line well it's interesting to hear that she sang her own, sang these songs herself, because it, that makes perfect sense. That's why the songs are so lyrical and so approachable. After a century of neglect, this once popular and celebrated composer, but long forgotten, forgotten for over a century, is now returning to the musical world. And it's a source of great pride and pleasure enormous satisfaction that I can say that through the addition of her music we are returning Kashmirova to her native Russia and to the musical world generally and I can only urge everyone uh, who loves music to seek out her compositions if there's a performance go and attend it and discover this amazing talent of this brilliant woman Leo Kadja Kashmirova Thank you.